Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Harry from Hasbro TV, and here we're here to talk about Harry Kane going to Bayern Munich. As you can tell, it's quite late at night here. Uh, Kane has actually agreed to join Bayern Munich. So it's sort of instant reaction to me about him going and how I feel about it. How this helps, actually, um, in the long run, I think, in fixing Tottenham. But in the short run, in the, very, you know, in the next couple of years, it's really going to hurt. From an emotional standpoint, Kane leaving has really hurt me, actually. Um, he's probably one of my favourite of his first place, if not the favourite one, apart from probably Rafa van der Vaart. So it's between those two, really. And Kane is probably the best ever player I've ever seen for Tottenham in my lifetime. Again, Bale comes very close, but I think Kane just slightly edges it for me a bit. And yeah, so in the short term, of course, losing 30 goals from Harry Kane is really, really, really good to tie Tottenham. But in the long run, leaving him one year left, it's going to hurt us even more. If he said one more year, yes, he would have maybe scored 20, 30 goals again. But yes, we would have lost, probably lost out on a lot of money or possible money that couldn't be spent in areas. Now, we're going to be seeing whether the money that we're getting from Kane now has already been spent on the players we've already signed because that would be very Tottenham like. Um, but that's not really the issue. It's more just like we need to, need to learn to not rely on one player, which, like with Bale beforehand in 2013, 10 years ago, Spurs relied on Gareth Bale for two. One massive year, actually, in 2012-2013. Spurs have relied on Kane the whole last season as the only player to basically carry the side. Because, let's be honest, Son wasn't great last season. Uh, so, Spurs need to learn how to play without Harry Kane. And the only way that was going to happen is if Harry Kane left. And, of course, under with a new manager, even though people might say this is an inconvenient time, and it is, like I said, in the short run, it is. In the long run, Harry Kane making this decision is actually a good thing with Tottenham. Not because I wanted him to leave. Of course, I wanted him to sign a new contract. But if he wasn't going to sign a new contract, we had to sell him now. So, in the long run, it actually will help us, I think. I think the team will learn to play as more of a unit. Um, fingers crossed, like I said, the money that we get from Kane is actually spent. And this Van der Ven money wasn't part of this Kane money we're actually getting. Which is like it's very Tottenham like if that happens. It's like kind of like Bell mirrored to the Bell thing, but yeah, of course I'm gonna miss Harry Kane. Spurs will miss Harry Kane, but in two three years time, will the team be better off? Will the club be better off? I think hand and heart. I think yes. Will they be much better off though because Kane obviously left and Spurs finished eighth. It remains to be seen. Maybe Spurs will finish fourth or fifth again. And back in Europe, compared to two or three years when Kane, like I said, leaves now. But we would improve. Um, like I said, maybe now the team can learn to play as a team rather than just relying on Kane. And like I said, with a few additions, like if it was me, I spent all the Kane money on a left back, a right back, and a centre half. I'd use the midfielder options that Spurs already have in Basuma, Madison, <laughs> La Celso, Skip, Hoiberg. Saar, I mean, there's like six options there. Plus, I think we should move Kulisewski into the middle. So, I don't think Spurs need to fix the midfield at all. I would not touch it. Even if Hoiberg was sold, I'd just move Kulisewski into the middle. I wouldn't touch it. I got to sign maybe another attacker. But, like I said, in the short term, it's really going to hurt. And like I said, it really hurts me now. But in the long run, Harry Kane making this decision is actually good for him for Tottenham. So, yeah. And I have nothing against him. I thank him for his service. But he deserves better as well as a player. He deserves to go out and win trophies. He's not going to win the trophies at Tottenham Hotspur. So, Harry Kane, thank you for your service. You're the best player that ever played for us. But And thank you for making this decision now. I decided to go now because if you sat for a year, I think things would have got worse for, for everyone in the long run. So, I thank you for your time. But this is another step to fixing Tottenham. And will Levy learn his lesson from this scenario? Again, fingers crossed he does because we can't let a player of this calibre ever leave again. A player of this calibre ever not fulfil his potential at Spurs because Kane is the one player who probably deserves the trophy at Tottenham more than anyone else, if I'm being honest with you. So, yeah, still leave you out and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. 
And if you're watching this in the morning, I'll be on review for myself in the evening around 5.36 for a preview show. And again, I'll have a video Saturday morning talking about fixing Tottenham and probably carrying on from this video about, you know, where do we go from Kane leaving? Well, who would I want as a replacement? That sort of thing, maybe. So, Hasbro out.